Things, when things need to be turned up, they get turned up. Rolling left in trouble, slips a tackle, got to launch it, he does. Is it caught? Is it caught? Oh my goodness, it's caught! DeAndre Hopkins caught it! He caught it! I can't believe it! What's the first thing that comes to mind when I say the name DeAndre Hopkins? You know, it's crazy to see in person. You know, he, he's, he's really, I, I believe, the best receiver in the league. He wants to be the best. He wants to win. He could have two receptions, eight receptions. As long as we win, we're good. You, you can't help but love a guy like that. Do you remember where you were when you heard the news that you guys were going to trade for DeAndre? I was back working out, throwing my dad, and I got the news. I didn't believe it. Um, I actually put out a couple tweets that day, but um, man, it was a uh, it was a shocker for me, for sure. Talk to me about your coach. What's it like to play for Cliff Kingsbury? I would say we're we're really similar in a lot of those ways, as far as the cool, calm, collected goes. He gets a little bit more antsy than me on the sideline, I feel like, but it, it's a blessing to be able to play for him. You know, I feel like you know, there's not there's not anywhere else I'd rather be, especially playing for him and, and, and him knowing uh, my skill set, uh, being familiar with me because he recruited me when I was in high school, 15 years old, and to now be playing with him, that is a blessing. Yeah, there's no doubt Cliff Kingsbury got his guy and Kyler Murray's got Arizona fans really excited, but an interesting game for them on the road where we find our Dan Graziano in Foxborough with more on this one. Hi, Dan. Hi, Sam. Yeah, Kyler Murray just got finished warming up on the field a short time ago. Normal warm-up, no trainer or medical personnel out there overseeing it. Remember, he was limited earlier this week with a shoulder injury suffered in their last game, but he was a full practice participant on Friday. The Cardinals believe he'll be good to go as long as he doesn't take another big hit that aggravates the shoulder injury. In terms of him playing... You talked about going into that last feature, what's different for him last year to this year. I talked to offensive lineman Justin Pugh, and he said he's made tremendous leaps from his rookie season in terms of playing the quarterback position at the NFL level, recognizing what defenses are trying to do pre-snap, and checking into things that he might not have checked into last year. And Pugh said to me that's especially important against a defense like New England's and a coach like Bill Belichick he said, Sam, you really have to be able to get to plan B and plan C quickly. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. It's a difficult position for a coach to be in trying to figure out how to slow this guy down. Rex, you're very familiar with Bill Belichick and the different ways he tries to deal with guys like this. How do you think he'll do it today? Oh, I, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> I, I, it's going to be that tough. Look, yeah. Cliff Berry and, and you saw Michelle's beast were, were Cliff and and Kyler Murray, man, they're calm, cool, and collected. As a coach against them, uh, you're not. <laughs> Trust me, you're holding on to your, your butt back there because especially in the red zone, the high red zone, this guy becomes the number one ball carrier on their team, quite honestly. And, and look, you can have it perfect. The Bills have it, have it perfect right here against his own read. Oops, unfortunately, their athlete's better than yours. And you don't touch him. Don't worry about a shoulder injury. You can't touch this guy anyway. And you're going to see another example against the Bill. Hey, we're just going to unblock this guy. Let the defense men take the back. Well, nobody's on Kyler. Good night. Untouched. I mean, you can't even pull his flag, Randy, let alone tackle this guy. Another one. Now we're going to get a counter here. Make the little zone read, but I'm going to run behind my pullers. And I'm going to turn this guy loose. Don't worry about that. Doesn't matter. I'm going to walk into the end zone again. How many you're seeing these plays? He doesn't get touched. So they're well-designed plays. No wonder they're so calm and cool. But, but look, it's 11-on-11 11 11 football. It's super hard to defend. If anybody has a chance, it's Belichick. But I don't think he has much of a chance. And I think the process of thinking about it as Bill and that defensive staff would be so I probably don't have a player on defense that can run this guy down. I mean, even if I pressured him and we had a free runner, the chances are Kyler's going to do a little shake and he's going to be out the gate. So... I think Kyler is going to have an incredible opportunity to beat the Patriots from the pocket. I think that's what it's going to be. These rushers, they're not going to be quick, quick swim moving and trying to get upfield against this guy. I think they're going to secure their blocks, set the edge, get ready to put up their hands and bat down some balls. And then when he starts to scramble, disengage and then try to make a play from there. So Kyler from the pocket, I think he's going to be able to sit there and just read. And that's where I think 
Bill doubts this guy. So can you just decipher my seven who I keep back, sometimes my eight, and then make a decision? And then we'll play street yard from there. And hopefully we have the, the pocket set on the edges and then bring you down. But Kyler from the pocket, that's to be watched today. Looking at the New England Patriots defense of their rushing lanes, how they go after a guy like Kyler Murray is, is very important to me. But let me say something about Bill Belichick. I look at this game where you have DeAndre Hopkins on, on the outside and you have Kyler Murray. One thing about this New England Patriots defense, they can't have their cake and eat it too. Something has to give. We know the New England Patriots, uh, coached by Bill Belichick, we know that they take away your best weapon offensively. So today, with Stephon uh, Gilmore being able to cover DeAndre Hopkins, is he covering him for four quarters? Or is he going to be able to put uh, more of a focus on a guy like Kyler Murray? So for me, you can't have your cake and eat it too, Bill. Something's got to give. If you're asking me who am I taking out of the game, I would take DeAndre Hopkins out of this game. And I think that reigning defensive player of the year, Stephon Gilmore, is going to have his work cut out for him. Because like I said, you got a guy like Kyler Murray, they're going to have to be... Uh, um, be able to rush the, the quarterback, and they're going to have to be disciplined in their lanes just to get after a guy like Kyler Murray. Yeah, it's a tough task, obviously, to handle DeAndre Hopkins. He might even see more pressure today because there's a guy missing out there that, look, Cardinals fans haven't seen this since 2014, Matt. Not seeing Larry Fitzgerald out on the field. He misses this game due to COVID protocols. He's not big on the, the stat sheet this year, but you think he still makes an impact not being out there? Yeah, listen, he's not huge on the stat sheet, fantasy numbers, and that kind of thing, but no, make no mistake, this is the security blanket. This is the gotta have it guy. He's kind of the glue. You know, a lot of teams, it's the tight end position, and this Cliff Kingsbury offense, I would say it's Larry Fitzgerald, and you talk about their relationship with Kyler Murray. On third and fourth down this year, Kyler Murray and Larry Fitzgerald are connecting on 76% of their passes. This is the gotta have it guy, critical situations. And you'll even hear defensive coordinators say it in practice all week. They'll say, all right guys, first and second down, this is what we're thinking. But wait a second, in gotta have it situations, red zone, third down, fourth down, don't forget about number 11. Number 11's not out there today for Kyler Murray. So somebody else is going to have to step up, and that's one less thing that Bill Belichick and the Patriots have to worry about. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who kind of steps up in this game in his absence as Mr. Dependable. It's a big one for the Cardinals. Only one game back of both the Rams and the Seahawks in their division as they try and make a push for the playoffs.